Hello everyone, welcome to Study Guide Forum. This time around, based on the uh, the volumetric analysis, the volumetric analysis that is the result reaction we have uh, in this uh, chemistry analysis, the volumetric analysis for the upcoming exam that is uh, chemistry uh, volumetric analysis. Now, there's a method that you can use to calculate the volume, the volume of your A without what doing any titration. Now, that is what we're going to look at in the um, in the question we are giving with um, ion two tetras of a cis to be what five point five grams, and then potassium um, tetra also, uh, per magnet we have it as one point one point five eight grams. So based on this. The first thing we are going to, if you look at the chemical equation, find out the ratio, the stoichiometric relationship between this is what 10 is to, approximately you can say it was 5 is to 1, because when you break it down a bit, you have it as what 5 is to 1. Now, the first thing you do now, you have to find the amount, you need to find the amount of um, ion in them, that is the amount of the, of this uh, ion to the trust of a cis, that is reacting an amount of this that's also in what one gm cube of the solution. Now, for the ion two, ion two tetrasulfates. So what we have the we know that the uh, molar mass or relative molecular mass of it is what two one point one five two is one five two. Then we find the more amount the number of moles. Number of moles of uh, ion two is equal to what? Um, that will give us that will give us five point five divided by one five two. That will give us equal to zero point zero three six approximately moles. That is what we have, what we have in what? In one gm cube of the solution. For the content that we react, the content that we react is what? In the titration, what we have there is 25 cm cube. 25 cm cube is what we react. Now, the first thing we're going to find out here, um, the number of moles in 25 cm cube, because what we have here is what we have in 1000 cm cube. I mean, what our CM cube contains 0 0.035 moles. Then 25 CM cube, 25 CM cube will then be equal to 0 0.0366 all over what? 1000 times 25 over 1. So, so what we do next, what we do next will be multiplying through divide by we have it the amount that is contained the amount that is contained in it is the 5 cm cube is 0 0.0009 um, nine moles that is what is contained there so now we have this we have this thing to be there, but then we go back to what we have in the chemical equation. This is what we have in the chemical equation. From the chemical equation, remember what I told you? Now we can clean here. Remember what I told you? From this relationship, from this relationship, we know that this is, at least we have five is towards one. That means five moles of this will combine with one mole of that. If it's like that, then zero point, 0 0.00009 0 0.0009 moles will be equal to 1 over 1 over 5 times 0 0.0009 over 1 so when we do that we divide by what we have the number of moles of and potassium per magnet will then be that will react with 
0.0009 will be equal to um, 0 0.0008181 um, approximately moles. That is what we have. Now we have the number of moles here. Remember, remember what we have here is in DMP. The number of moles here, coming back to this place, coming back here, we have the number of moles. You need to find out the number of moles that is 1000 DMQ or 1000 1, DMQ, sorry, or 1 DMQ. Now, the number of moles in this, number of potassium per magnet here we have is the number of moles is equal to over what the molar mass or the molecular mass that will give us 0 0.01 to give us 0 0.01 so if you give us 0 0.01 what else are we going to do here then what it means is that 1000 tm cube of this uh, potassium has 0 0.01 moles so sorry Let me take it this way. 0 0.01 moles is equal to is equal to what? 1,000. That is what it contains. 1,000 cm cube. Therefore, 0 0.000181 will be equal to that is moles will be equal to 1,000 over 0 0.01 times 0 0.000181 all over 1. So when we do this, what we have is times 1000 divided by 0 0.01. So our volume, volume of the potassium per magnet will be equal to 18 points. 18 points, approximately 18 points 1 is a 1 0 cm cube. That's the final. So, with this, but then personally, I don't always encourage it because um, this is a, 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 a kind of situation where you have a perfect environment where there is no error. In most cases, there used to be a little error, a little variation due to maybe the way you handle your pipette, the way you you drop your the way you were titrating all those things tend to uh, bring about a little variation and that is why in most cases in uh, is the the volume varies they have a range that's why they have a range so you don't always depend on this whenever you're doing this because based on what a small small error that may occur it might not exactly be this so this is one of the ways you can use it you can serve as a guide on how to get the accurate result or the, within the range but i don't encourage everybody to do this calculation in order to get because most cases there must be one or two errors that might make your values to vary thank you so much for being part of this class and i i if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe and leave any question for us there. If you have any question for us, just leave it there. We will always attend to you. Thank you so much.